Hi everyone, it's Helen. I'm the National Artist for Sephora Collection, and today I'm joined in the studio with Dana. She has beautiful deep set eyes, and I'm going to show you a lifting technique with some eyeshadow. So let's dive right in. All right, for our first step, I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer, and this one is by Milk Makeup. It is the Hydro Grip Eyeshadow and Concealer Primer. I like this one because it has a really sheer texture, um, which just makes it nice and very easy to smooth across the lid. And the real reason you want to use a primer is to really lock in that eyeshadow and make sure it stays put. And I like this primer as well because it almost has like a hydrating effect. It's not drying at all. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit underneath as well because we're also going to place some shadow there. And once you've laid down your primer, you can move on to some eyeshadows. All right, so for our eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. I love this because it not only has two matte shades, but also has things that have a bit of shimmer and shine to them. You don't necessarily want to avoid that if you're creating this lifted look. I think that that's sort of a misnomer. First, then we're gonna start off with adding a lot of shape. So I'm going to go in with this pinky tone up top, and I'm gonna use this all over the lid. And I love to use the shades like pinks and oranges, nothing that's gonna be too striking. They're more, more along the neutral side of the pinks and the oranges, but something that's going to sort of enliven the skin. And I use quite a bit of eyeshadow at first, especially with my base shade. It just allows you to blend the other shades a lot more easily. You can really do sort of a tapping motion to lay down the shadow, that will prevent you from getting any fallout, and then you can sweep after to give it that blend. I focused most of the color just right in the center there, and now we're gonna go in with a little bit more depth. That's gonna add a lot of dimension. It's also gonna give your eye this super nice lifted look. All right, now I'm going in with this slightly deeper tone and a smaller brush because I'm just gonna add a bit of dimension. And when you wanna create a lifted look for a deeper set eye, I like to place my shadow first. I also have a deep set eye, so I do this trick on myself all the time. And look forward. So this really gives you an idea of how high to take your eyeshadow. You don't wanna do it too, too high but it's gonna add that extra depth and dimension. So that looks pretty good to me. You always wanna leave some space between the brow and the deepest tone. It also gives you some room to blend, which is really nice. So that looks really good to me. When the eye is closed, it's sometimes hard to see where you wanna put that sort of like faux crease. It's kind of a combination of depth and lift. Okay, close. And I think the biggest thing as well is to actually take it almost to like mid lid as you go in because that's gonna give you that extra depth right there. And then you can just keep blending. And you really don't wanna do anything that's gonna have a harsh line. So after I put all the depth here, I'm going over with whatever's left in the brush and just brushing it out. And I know I want a little bit more depth here. I'm gonna actually mix these two shades, the pink and the brown, to go underneath your eye. Okay, and look up for me. And this, you really can be very light-handed with it because it's just meant to give you that sense that you have a much larger eye. And then we will add extra definition with a liner after. All your shadows should look really soft, really blended. This is just a baseline. Okay, so looking forward again, marking out that height and the direction you wanna go to give it that sort of lifted effect. So I'm adding some depth just at the lash line here. And then with whatever I've left on my brush, I'm just sweeping it across and blending it out. And don't be afraid to use your fingers to kind of give it that softer blend. And then same thing, you just wanna make sure you have no harsh lines, everything should look really soft. So tell me a little bit about how you do your makeup normally. Well, normally I wear a pencil mm -hmm. eyeliner and I do a lot of smoky eye. Okay, yeah, I love that. It goes yeah. with your eye color. Thanks, and I, I'm enjoying this palette though. I like the 
more natural. Yeah, this is good for day, but all of these techniques are really good for any eyeshadow palette. So even if you do like a smokier eye, you can right. still use these techniques. All right, so next I'm actually going to use a satin finish. Um, I really love to use something that has a little bit of sheen to it, not necessarily a glitter, um, but something that's gonna really brighten things up. And I feel like people tend to avoid shimmers and they could just go for straight mattes, but I do think that this really does brighten everything up and give you a real nice like lift and extra dimension right on the lid. And so we're going over that shade essentially of pink and just brightening it up with a little bit of shimmer. You can see that makes a huge difference in her eye from one to the other. When she looks forward, you can see it's really nice and bright and lifted. It really brightens up these inner corners that tend to get a little bit darker when you have a deep set eye. And for this, I'm using this smaller eyeshadow brush. I'm using the Sephora Collection Pro Shadow Brush number 15. Okay, now that we've done all of the eyeshadow shades, we are gonna go in with a little bit of liner. This is gonna add that extra depth, really give you that lifted look, especially in the corners. So for this, I'm going to use the Sephora Collection in Ultimate Gel Eyeliner. I think that's new, right? Yeah, this, this formula is brand new and it is super creamy and very long wearing, which I love. And I really work it in to that lash line, nothing too thick. It's really to help enhance the lashes and make them look bigger and fluffier and fuller. And the more you can do those like dashes between your lashes, essentially like a tight line, the better it's gonna look. I'm also using espresso matte, which is kind of like a, a hybrid between a black and a brown. And I do a little thicker on the outer edge than anywhere else. And look forward. And you can see that has added just a ton of depth right at the lash line, which looks really, really nice, especially once we put mascara on, it's really gonna tie everything together. And this is the ultimate lifting effect. You don't wanna go all the way across with your liner. You just wanna do this inner corner. And this connects the two lines, but it also just adds that extra depth here and gives you that little bit of lift, that illusion that your eye is going more up. So now you can really see the difference between the two here. Um, this one, you can see it looks just a little bit more lifted in this corner. And then here, it's just a little bit more downturned and this is still looking a little heavy and that's all gonna change when we put a little bit of liner on it. Now let's just do the second eye here. And if you're not great with liner, I don't recommend going straight across. I actually love doing these just short little strokes. It gives you maximum control. And look forward for me. Okay, great. And you can see it, we're leaving it in here. We're not getting that liner all the way inside. That's just gonna close everything up, really focusing it on the outer edge. And now we're gonna do this outer corner. Okay, I'm feeling really good about that. So next we can go in with a little bit of mascara off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so to complete this look, I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer to add that extra lift and also correct any fallout that might have occurred. I'm going to use the Hourglass Vanish. This is in the color Sepia. And this really will give you that added benefit of a lift and then also correct any fallout that's occurred. So what I like to do is apply it underneath here to kind of give that illusion of brightness and give you that lifted, lifted look. And again, don't be afraid to blend any lines, any harsh lines with your fingers. And if you happen to have any little fallout, you can use whatever's left on the brush. So it's almost in place of using a highlighter because this is more of a matte highlighter. It's a little bit lighter than your skin tone, but really gives you that lift and brightness. Okay, so you can see this has added a lot of brightness and gives you that extra lift to the eye. Okay, so Adana, we have the completed look. Do you wanna see it? Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love it. 
yeah, it just really adds that lift. I feel like the biggest thing here is to really make sure that you're applying your shadow a little bit higher than you normally would to give the illusion of just having more space between your brow and the base of your lash line. And then also really brightening it up in that inner corner by giving it that extra shimmer and then the depth on the outside really making it draw everything upward. I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much. It looks so great. I'm going to put you in my suitcase. Thank you. Work with me. My carry on. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So this is just such a wonderful way to lift a deep set eye. I feel like you can do this with the products you already have at home. So really super easy. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye everyone. Bye.